good day guys what we will be discussing or what we will be doing today is the clean architecture when you code your api so uh, for the uh, for the discussion part of this architecture is there's this guy in youtube that i see uh, i will just put the descript uh, the link in the description so if you want to know the discussion of this architecture uh, just see the link below so what i like about this uh, architecture so it's very flexible so when you will revise your code in your api so there's not much of a change you have to do and also in when you will change your database so example for po from postgre to mysql so there's only a uh, minimal changes na not uh no uh, there there will be no big changes in your code so just minimal so i already have the the finished uh, api here but we will be starting from scratch so i just uh, downloaded the the packages because I don't have internet here no Wi-Fi so sad so the packages we'll be using is basic auth for for basic authentication of for our routes so of course for us to allow to access uh, across uh, origins so that env to read the, that that env file this file so express for our server then pg and uh, i will be using the sqlize for uh, efficient making of the tables and nodemon for it to watch our main file so that's for our dependencies so we will make our source folder I will just copy the env file that I have used. So this is for the port where our API will run. So port 24. Node env. The current environment is development. This is for the credentials for our database and for the encryption, data encryption, the algorithm encryption and the i4 for uh, i mean for the manual <clears throat> and then for the uh, credentials for our basic of so first now uh, we will make our source folder and in the clean architecture there's just uh, five main uh, f folders or yeah folders first is for the controller so if you need the uh, discussion just see the link below what's the purpose of this i mean the controller is it will connect to the app so it will make the it will call our use cases functions so use cases then express callback to the using express then entities Data access, I mean data access. So that's it. That's the four, uh, main five main folders in the clean architecture. So in the entities folder, this is where you will put the business logic, you know, data validation like that. So example, in employee, so let's say an employee needs, uh, must have a first name or last name and last name so you will put that validation here so data access this is for our database connection and query express callback is the express server which uh but we did we didn't use the express package which is uh substitute for that 
yeah where our use case is where we will process the data from our controller and the controller is uh, we, the controller will get the data from the client so our client might be a web app a mobile app like that then we will make our main file the app JS. so let's modify our package json then i'll be using nodemon uh, i use nodemon for it will constantly check our main file for changes then it will run so start so if you're done developing so just npm start so the node will run your file so let's try so we didn't, didn't have code any code here so sample say test let your console log the node mode watches the main file for any changes so it will when i make any changes then save the file it will display sample sample test sample there <clears throat> oops so i will just copy the the main file here in the separate file as i mean separate project So I will comment this first. We will make it later. So this is, we will just bring the packages and then config the uh, run this config dot nb dot config for the API to read the variables here in our nb file. Then declare our express app then enable course this is just the body parser so it will read uh, the json files that was sent from by the client and this uh, port variable if there is no port in our nb file it will run in port 3000 but here in our nb file it will run in port 24 this port 24 so up listen in the port then just control log this one then we do we do not have routes yet so comment that comment comment this line first for now then up use if the route is not existing so it will display this so let's try in the postman make collection i will also push in the api my uh, the postman collection so first uh, let's make a variable here so just uh, name, name it clean will run in our local host or 24 uh, let's put an API here. Then just save and close. Let's try. Route is nowhere to be found because we don't have our routes yet. So we display this. So also, let's make the routes folder for our routes. You can put it here in the source folder or in the root directory but i want to make it here i want to put it here so it will be organized just one folder make it clean so next in the sequelized uh, documentation in the migration part you need this file the switch 
SQLizer file for dynamic uh, migration. So we just copy this file, paste it here. There. So when you run the SQLize init command, it will generate this in this directory. So let's try to run it. npx equalize cell ah uh, equalize cell init so it worked so we, it must be here there there equalize folder so our config js so let's just if you didn't uh, in default, it is a uh, config.json, but I want, uh, if it is in JSON file, you can't read uh, the variables here in our env file, so I used config.js. So let's just copy here. So require the dot env then config for it enable to read this file. Cause the env file is I will uh, it is a best practice that you will not push this in the repository. So you'll put the the confidential data here in the env file. So when we are running in the development. So when we are running in our node env is in development so it will be using these uh, connections or credentials for our database the node env variable it is also mentioned there in the sqlize page so you use this variable so when in production you just replace here production then so it will follow these credentials for your database here. Then you will change the value of the variable here. So we will try it later. We will connect in the different database. So for now we will just use the development. So that's for this config.js file. Also, I forgot. Let's put in the models. Let's require that env here so that it will read what's the value of the process node env in our env variable. If you will not put this uh, require the dot env package so it will just always run in the development environment so excuse me first <clears> okay <throat> hey. so this is just uh, auto generated by the sqlize so you just don't have to just don't touch anything here just this file add add this before this <clears throat> so let's make our first uh, one on one model on the employees model so our employees will have these <clears throat> uh, fields so just a first name and last name and age so let's make uh, let's make it here uh, forgot the command so i will pause for now i will research first don't have internet i will back later so let's continue uh, i forgot that sqlize has help function so let's just try that uh, so if you want to know the command so let's just Write this sequelize li then up. 
So what we will be doing is this part model generate. So let's back for silly. So we will be naming our model employees. Oh, also I mean you need this part attributes for the fields. So attributes uh, first name the field then the uh, data type. So first name string last name string and then age in bigger. So missing required argument name. Hmm? That oh there there. So in the migrations here, it will generate, the SQLite will generate the fields for our migrations. I mean the file, I mean the file. Then here in the models, this. So let's try to migrate it in our database. So npx equalize we migrate. It will use the oh, database sample. Oh, forgot to create the database. So this is my local Postgre. Then let's create new. I'm using Navicat Premium. So let's create database sample. So in our sample database, there's no table yet. So let's try to migrate again. So it's successful. So let's just refresh. So there's our table. Place table. The created at and updated that it is Automat uh, generated by the SQLize automatic. So that's for the our database. So let's continue in the next part because the video is already long. See you guys there.